we're going to look at how we're adding lat spare effects to uh, uh, to an instrument uh, in uh, LMMS. I'll call it LMS because it's much easier to say. Um, we now have opened a default project in LMS, and the thing we're going to use is this um, tree uh, triple OSC instrument, um, and um, I simply just press uh, the, the 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 button that appears when you load an instrument. This, this is actually uh, the the representation of the instrument in the song editor. You can press it and it will open, and of course open the instrument. Looks like this. Default it will be on the plugin page, but in respect to uh, working with um, the let's bear effects uh, we're interested in the faults page the FX page so uh, I'll click that one and it opens uh, the effect train there's no effects now so um, uh, the, ch <laughs> the chain is in a way empty um, we're going to listen to uh, the instrument now um, in its default uh, condition so I will add an event in the uh, in the song editor, and I will open that event. I'll simply just click on it twice, please, uh, and I open the piano roll. Uh, in the C4, I will add half a note, looks like this, and I will put it on play. Fabulous. Okay. Um, in order that you can hear what I'm saying, I have to stop the, uh, the, the sound, but uh, it can actually be uh, a bad idea to just let it, uh, let it play. Um, but use your headphones not to make your neighbors go crazy. Um, it's no fun in crazy neighbors. Um, we now uh, have this uh, um, effect train and we're going to put reverb on this instrument. I'm going to do that by um, clicking the add effect and it will open the effect browser looks like this. Uh, because I know it's a reverb I want, I can write in this input field well, the cursor is blinking right now, default, reverb. I only have to uh, 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 writes uh, a few letters and the the, f the, the, the auto filter will simply show me the the instruments that are available oh, sorry the effects that are available and I'll choose the uh, reverberator um, and I'll, I will um, click the OK button to to, um, to get this choice and we now see that the effect train has been expanded uh, with this, uh, the re the tab reverberator, and we also have uh, a button here for the controls. When I click the button, I can uh, toggle the controls on and off. Uh, they will be on per default, but they are outside the um, Cam Studio recording window. Here are the controls. Uh, you can see we have. Uh, a control for reverb type, we have control for decay and dry level, wet level, and we have four uh, on off buttons or, or um, dials or lamps where we can choose a uh, different type of, uh, should we call it, add on effect. Uh, we'll see what that does to our instrument. Um, we also have controls here for wet, dry, decay, and gate. The two controllers here uh, will, will uh, control the on-off of the entire effect train or this effect only. Right. So now we have added the uh, reverberator, so let's listen to the sound again.
that's actually all there is to adding an effect uh, to uh, the um, to, an, to an instrument in, in LEMS. Um, uh, this tutorial is connected to uh, the uh, LEMS wiki. I have described this in in, uh, in text, but in order to offer more um, inter actually more interesting uh, demonstration of it, um, I made this little video. When we uh, start to fiddle with, uh, with, with the knobs, we can change. Not sure you can hear what I'm saying now, but perhaps you can. So, close that. Let's play. Um, we can see what happens. Change the reverb time. If you're using uh, headphones, because um, sometimes when you make an alteration to a knob, the sound gets very loud indeed. So you really have to be careful not to damage your hearing. Um, there's really no, uh, but of course, it's, it's rubbish. I'm just a lazy clown. Uh, I could make a long. Uh, an extensive tutorial on whatever happens when you change this and that knob, but I think it's 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 actually better for 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 for, for you to uh, to fiddle with these knobs yourself and find the effects that you like. Perhaps you you then want to to uh, to make a note to remember what the setting was and and, and when you yeah. You have you actually have to activate them. Then the tooltip shows. That's a little contraindicated. But never mind. And you can write it down in, in in a document when you have found a very good effect and you want to remember the the the, the setting for that effect. The effect train will of course um, accommodate any number of of uh, effects. You can see I can add a chorus to this also. It goes as its own Unfortunately, that is the fact for the high pass and low pass uh, filters. They are of poor quality and the, the, the ability to, to fine tune them to have uh, a very um, subtle change in, in, um, in the effect is not there. And, and that's very bad because it's, par it's good uh, high pass, low pass filtering is very, very important in um, electronica, any kind of electronica. It doesn't matter if it's trans or if it's um, dubstep or whatever. It Filters are so important. Unfortunately, the lead spare filters are, I wouldn't say lousy, but I think I would say not good. Sadly. Okay, perhaps that will be uh, better in a later release. Uh, or 
Have we found some better folders for a later release? I hope so. Well, that was all on um, adding uh, light spare effects to the individual instruments. Bye-bye. Um,